thinking of selling your digital products online but can't decide or don't know where to sell. You're not alone. In this video, we'll break down the pros and cons of two of the most popular platforms to sell digital products. Comparing everything, from transaction fee to user experience, by the end, you'll know exactly which one is the perfect match for your online business. So now, without wasting any more time, let's dive right in. So in this video, we are going to discuss Gumroad and Payhip and which one is better to sell your digital products. I will compare both websites in different criteria, and in the end I will choose which one is better so you can start selling. Don't skip to the end, because that way you will miss why I picked that website, and these will be the topics we will use to compare the websites. Now let's start with the first topic, starting with Gumroad and Payhip. For those who don't know about these websites, in Payhip and Gumroad you can sell both physical, digital products, courses and membership, which makes them a great alternative to Etsy. Both Payhip and Gumroad are completely free to start, with quick and straightforward sign-up processes. On Payhip, you can create an account and instantly access a ready-to-use storefront with no upfront costs. Similarly, Gumroad allows you to sign up and start adding products right away, also without any initial fee. Both platforms make it easy to get started making them beginner-friendly options for selling digital products. Like you can see here, you can easily sign up in Gumroad using your Google, Facebook, X or Stripe to create your account for free. Similarly, you can create your Payhip account using your first name, last name and email ID for free. Now that we are signed up to both sites, let's check out what we can sell on both sites. First up we are here in Gumroad. To upload you just need to click on new product button and it will take you to this page. Here you can see all the products you can sell on Gumroad like digital products, courses, ebooks, membership, physical goods, and bundles. And you can also sell some services like commission, calls, and coffee. And uploading designs here is also very easy. Just select the type of product you want to sell, like digital product, then you need to add the title of your product. Then scroll down and set the price of your product. Another great thing is that you can select from many currencies. After that, click on next. Here you can add other details like description, cover and thumbnail of your product. Here you can also allow customers to pay whatever they want and you can also select the minimum price that they must pay to get your product. You can also add different variations of a product like different formats and versions. And here are some other settings for you to customize your product like limit the number of purchases to create demand. Then click on save and continue and it will take you to this page. Here you can upload your product file by clicking on insert. And you are good to go. If you want a complete tutorial of how to upload products on Gumroad, please let me know in the comments section. Now let's talk about Payhip. To add your product, just click on add new product. And it will take you to this page where you can see the types of products you can sell on Payhip, which are digital products, courses, memberships, physical products, coaching services and bundles. Now to upload products select any type, like here I'm selecting digital product. Uploading a product on Payhip is simpler than Gumroad, as you don't need to fill out multiple things, and Uploader is also pretty simple, but it has lesser customization options than Gumroad. Though it also lets you upload different versions of your product and many more options, so in this category Payhip is better as it is simple with similar features available. Now let's check if they have their marketplace, and which one has a better marketplace. So first, we are on Gumroad, and as you can see, they do have their own marketplace, which means you can directly get sales from here also. We can find products category-wise, or search for anything like any other marketplace. As you can see here, they have multiple categories to find products like drawing and painting, designs, self-improvement, education, 3D and more. As for Payhip, they also have their own marketplace, so just like Gumroad you can get direct sales from here. Also, they have multiple categories to search for any product or service. Both Gumroad and Payhip are similar in terms of marketplace. However, unlike Gumroad, your product will not show up in Payhip marketplace instantly after uploading. Your product must be eligible to show up and to submit your product for review. You just have to go to your products. From here, click on the marketplace button. Here you can see the instructions to add your product to the marketplace. You need categories and tags to your products. Then after reviewing, your product will be available to buy. And here, if you scroll down, 
you will be able to see your products that are available on Marketplace. So, in the context of the Marketplace, I think Gumroad is better as it is simple, easy and you can get started instantly. Now let's talk about some special features of both the websites. In Gumroad, you can collect emails and create newsletters. You can send reminders, promotional information to all the collected emails at once. And there are other useful features like Sales Manager and Analytics, which will be useful to know about your audience. As for Payhip, it has more features than Gumroad. Here you can create your own coupon code, which is a great marketing strategy. You can also run sales on Payhip like Etsy. You can use this feature to run sales on events like holidays or events to increase sales. And there are other features also like affiliates, mailing list, cross-selling and many more. So, Payhip has more features than Gumroad, which makes it better in terms of marketing tools and other useful features. Now let's check out how you can withdraw your earnings and methods available. So first, we are here on Gumroad, and as you can see, you can get paid by direct deposit or via PayPal, which varies by country, but you don't have to worry because PayPal is available in almost every country. However, you can only withdraw your earnings after you have earned $10 or more. As for Payhip, you get paid instantly after every sale, and there's no minimum threshold that you need to complete to get paid, and they pay through PayPal or Stripe. Now let's check out which one is more beginner-friendly. If we talk from the seller's perspective, Payhip gives more features and stats which is very useful for every seller. But from the buyer's perspective, Payhip looks a bit less exciting, and as it is very plain, however, Gumroad, even though it has less features for sellers, it has a very friendly feel for buyers, and in my case my customers liked it more suitable and easy to use. Because it has a more artistic interface, and a great style, which is very unique. Now let's check which one is more customizable. Gumroad doesn't give you much room to customize. Basically, you can only adjust the colors and fonts, and even then, you're limited to just two colors, one for the background and one for highlights. On the other hand, Payhip gives you a dedicated store builder. Here you can fully customize your store. Like in the header section, we can customize the store logo, navigation links, header setting, announcement bar and elements. In the collection section we can adjust the aspects ratio, show price or not, number of columns on desktop, spacing and many more. And you can also fully customize your store style, like colors, fonts, buttons, and more. These options make Payhip a great choice if you like to customize your store according to your theme. Now this sums up our comparison between Gumroad and Payhip. Now the question is which one is better? If we consider all the points of the comparison, Payhip is clearly a better choice. Because it's simple to use, has fast payment withdrawal, has more marketing features, and full store customization options. However, if you ask me which one I use, my answer will be Gumroad. And Gumroad is the website where I sell my digital products because it is more known than Payhip, and customers find it easier to use than Payhip and you don't need much effort to create your store. So this sums up our video, which one are you going to use or already using? Please let me know in the comments section. Hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please like and subscribe to my channel, so that you don't miss any upcoming useful videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay creative and stay awesome.